Welcome back. The Geelong Gallery hosts a magnificent permanent collection of Australian art as well as a vibrant program of exhibitions. Belinda finds out more. The Geelong Gallery is one of the oldest regional galleries in Victoria. Established in 1896, it is home to an impressive collection including Australian and European paintings and decorative arts as well as some of the earliest images of the Geelong region. Entry to the gallery is free and it provides the perfect escape from modern life. I'm here with Lisa Sullivan, the curator of the Geelong Gallery, and we're in the permanent collection. Lisa, tell us about this beautiful painting behind us. Thanks, Belinda, and welcome to the gallery. It's a wonderful painting, one of the most iconic in our collection, and it's by uh, Eugene von Gerard, a very significant artist in the history of Australian art. He arrived here in Australia in the 1850s, and it's his impression of the view of Geelong. Uh, it's a wonderful work that we gained into the collection in 2006, some 150 years after it was painted. Can you tell us a little bit about the interesting way that it came into the gallery? I think some of our viewers from Pulse TV might have even owned a little bit of this piece. Absolutely, and I hope they do. Um, it was a wonderful campaign that we, we um, initiated to acquire the work. Uh, it was at auction back in 1996, and it was displayed temporarily here at the gallery, I think for about 10 weeks. The gallery bid for the work in, back in 1996, but we were unsuccessful, and it was acquired by Andrew Lloyd Webber of Cats and Phantom of the Opera fame. Um, he made a pledge that if he ever wanted to sell it again, uh, he would indeed contact the gallery and he honoured that pledge and um, that set about a course of fundraising activities that uh, enabled us to acquire it and through three tiers of government support but most importantly through community support we were able to acquire the work. Beautiful. Let's have a look around the rest of the gallery. Lisa, you've mentioned a lot of the works in the gallery have come in due to community support, but that's not the case for everything. For example, this work. Tell us about how we got this one into Geelong. Well, this is a painting that was shown in the Geelong Contemporary Art Prize back in 2010. Every two years, the gallery hosts a nationally significant prize for painting where we show the best of contemporary practice. The gallery has a notable collection of exquisite painted porcelain from the 1750s to the 1850s, the result of a bequest from Dorothy McAllister, wife of Geelong Mayor Ranald McAllister. From the beautiful Geelong Art Gallery, this is Belinda for Pulse Television. Hello boys and girls, I'm here to tell you a rhyme. I promise it won't take too much out of your time. Well, I'm here to tell you a story about a young man named Ted. Yes, I know he doesn't look like much now, but he would if he ever got out of bed. The morning was early in the time 7.45 when Ted hopped out of bed looking barely alive. He'd hop in the shower to do his teeth, do his toast, but he'd put on his jacket and his shirt and his coat. It was 7.45 when Ted was half past late, and if he'd missed the bus again, Mum'd have his bus on the plate. He'd bolt for the bus, sit on a seat, sweating with heat, but his morning complete. As he'd sit there in his school chair, picking with lust, unaware that Josh from Year 7 was watching with disgust, he'd open his books and turn to page one for another school day filled with high class fun. But instead of working on his English art and French, Ted preferred to lie down on the boring old bench or staring aimlessly in no particular way. This is how Ted spent most of his day. In our next story, Wayne pops over to Ken Dickens' house to find out more about Cryo Waste Management. Ken had created Cryo Waste Management many years ago, but we're going to find out where it all began. Ken, tell us all about it. It all began when I was in grade three and my father had an industrial garbage run in Melbourne. And I hated it, <laughs> to be honest, I, it was dreadful. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd end up in the waste management industry, but I did. And so you arrived in Geelong in what year, Ken? It was December 1995, from Sydney. And all my friends were saying, you know, my God, why did you want to come to Geelong? And 
Um, I just thought Geelong had it all. I'd heard that this guy was selling a truck, so I went around and had a look at it and actually bought the thing. It really was a bad truck. It really was. It was a, a five-year-old truck with a 26-year-old body on it. Um, but you did progress rather well from there. Uh, yeah, initially. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it served us well for a short time. It wasn't meant to be this size. Um, but what we found when we started here is that Geelong businesses um, are very discerning. They're very demanding. Um, and we managed to give them what they wanted. And we just got bigger and bigger and bigger to the point now where Geelong's our head office. Um, we operate all over Melbourne. We are now in Shepparton. And we've recently started up a business that operates in, in Melbourne, New South Wales and Perth. So it, it's just been one hell of a, a growth story, I guess. Look, I think I probably get my hands dirtier than Ken does at work. Um, he's the brains and... Um... You're the doer? Well, one of them. One of them. What we might do now, Christine, is um, have a little look around your beautiful home that you've created over the time, and um, then we'll get into what Ken's been cooking for us later on. Ken, you've created a wonderful environment. Tell us where you believe it's all started with. Family, my two sons, my daughter, that's Matthew, Nathan, Anthea, Christine's uh, boys, Callan and Jordan, my grandkids. Family is absolutely everything. And equally important, I think, is um, two sets of people. One is every employee that works within the group, and there's 60 employees and also our customers because without their support we don't have a business and, and without a doubt um, we've, we've had clients that have stuck with us through 18 years um, we've had some go and come back and, uh, but without a doubt no matter what you look at in business it's people that make it work or not We've created a wonderful home and um, I just look forward to what you're going to um, indulge us with for dinner tonight we've been very spoiled so from Wayne Baker at Pulse Television, all the very best and we'll see you next time.